By the end of this video, you're going to be able to set up your Raspberry Pi without needing a monitor, without needing a keyboard, otherwise known as a headless setup. So let's get into it. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi, a micro SD card, a power source for your Raspberry Pi, and then also a micro SD card reader. First steps first, we're going to plug in the micro SD card. Plug it in, plug it in. Next, we're going to go to the official Raspberry Pi website and download their imager software. It's called the Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'll download for Windows, but they do Mac and Ubuntu. And just install the file how you normally would for your operating system. So it looks like this, and we're going to put normal Raspberry Pi OS on it. Choose the storage device. This is the micro SD card that I mentioned earlier. And then before we click right, there's also a tricky thing that we can do. Control Shift X. And this gives us some advanced options. So we're going to set our host name. That's what the Raspberry Pi is going to display itself as over an internet network. Enable SSH. And to do that, we have to set the password for the Pi user. So I'm going to do that. And finally, configure the Wi-Fi. This is how you're going to be able to SSH into your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know what SSH is, it's a way to go from the terminal of one computer into the terminal of another computer and basically control it from there. It's going to be the first way that we connect into our Raspberry Pi before we enable a different viewer that's more visual called VNC. Set your Wi-Fi country. I am in the United States and that code is US. In case you don't know, what your code is, or say your country has a conflicting code, just go to this Wikipedia article. I'll link it in the description. They have every single code for every single country. Back to the advanced options for our Raspberry Pi imager. That's all we need to do. We can also set locale settings if you want. I'm going to do play sound just so I can not pay attention when it's doing it. And then eject the media. Save and write. Make sure you don't have any important files on that SD card because everything's going to get erased. Take the SSD out of the computer, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and then power to your Raspberry Pi. After the Pi boots up, we're going to open up our terminal, command prompt, shell, whatever you call it. So I'm going to go down here, search for terminal. You can just do the same steps in whatever operating system you have if you have a way to search through your applications. I'm going to make that a little bigger. And we're going to double check first that our Pi is on the Wi-Fi network before we SSH into it using the command ping raspberry pi. That's the host name I set for it in the advanced settings. Dash n number of times one. And it pinged, it returned, so we know it's connected, which means we can SSH into it. So that's the command SSH Pi at that host name, Raspberry Pi. And are you sure? Yes, I'm sure I want to connect. And then this is the password we set earlier. If you haven't used SSH before in the terminal, it won't show you the characters as you type them in the password. Don't worry, that's normal. You just type out the password and then hit enter. We have connected to our Raspberry Pi. And now we're going to improve that. We're going to get to a visual remote desktop for the Raspberry Pi. To do that, type sudo raspy-config. And now we're going to go into interface options. And you can use the arrow keys to direct through this menu. VNC, enter. And we would like VNC to be enabled. All right. And now we're going to finish. So we just do over, over to get to finish. And we're there. Now off the Raspberry Pi, we're going to go to this website. I'll have it linked in the description. And we'll download a VNC viewer. Pick your operating system. Now after it's been installed, let's just search for it. VNC. And it's right there. We want to connect to it. So we're just going to do the host name, Raspberry Pi. Continue. And then the username and password we set up. So it's going to be Pi. And then whatever password you have. Remember that for me. Boom. We are in a remote desktop into our Raspberry Pi. We can do whatever we want. And that is a headless setup for a Raspberry Pi. 
It's nothing fancy. We don't need to connect it to a monitor and then do a bunch of settings, nothing at all. We take care of that all ahead of time in the installation and then we can get straight to it. If you found this helpful or useful, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. I have other videos that are interesting on my channel too. Leave a comment if you want to ask me any questions. And thanks for watching.